Welcome to SAU Magazine, a weekly news program coming to you from Southern Arkansas University in Magnolia. This is a Southern Arkansas University news brief. I'm Brian Barr. An SAU staff member passes away after a brief illness. Dr. Greg Huberger had served as Director of University Technology Services since April 2000. He was also an associate professor in the College of Education. Huberger began his professional career as a junior high school teacher. He was hired by former SAU President Stephen Gamble to upgrade and modernize the computer system on campus. A memorial service was held on Friday at First Baptist Church in Magnolia. Huberger was buried in Palmetto, Florida. In lieu of flowers, his family asked that donations be made to an SAU scholarship fund in Huberger's name. I'm Angie Loomis. A regional organization is holding weekly meetings on campus. Columbia County Community Connections invites faculty and staff to weekly lunches in the Reynolds Center. Topics will focus on improving the economic and social development of Columbia County. They include attracting visitors and new citizens, cultural arts, education, work, and health and safety. A Dutch treat lunch can be purchased in the cafeteria, then brought to the Grand Hall. Upcoming meetings will address economic development and adult education. More information is available from Kimberly Keith and the Department of Behavioral and Social Sciences. Black History Month featured a variety of events. One was the SAU Health Fair. The nursing department provided free screenings, including flu shots, to students. A Black History Month Health Fair was held on Wednesday in the Reynolds Center. The health fair was a success for students and faculty. African Heritage Day consisted of a number of speakers to educate the public and students about African cultures. A third presentation in the Black Speaker Series will take place after spring break. The Department of English and Foreign Languages sponsors a youth writing festival. Dr. Kathleen Mallory founded the festival to get students more involved in writing. There were more than 800 entries received from grades 1 through 12 in many different categories. They included poems, short stories, and essays. Students were judged by category and grade level. Winners in the contest received certificates, trophies, and cash prizes. SAU, Bank Corp South, and the Arkansas Small Business Development Center present Taking Your Business Online. Shelly Keith, owner of Janu, an internet company, will be presenting ways to connect your business to the web. Taking Your Business Online will be held on Thursday in the Business Building. This presentation is free to students, staff, and faculty. Seating is limited for the event. A number of business classes are offered to the Magnolia community each academic year. Phi Lambda Chi Fraternity hosts a blood drive. The blood drive was held from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. on Tuesday in the Grand Hall of the Reynolds Center. The event was also sponsored by United Blood Services. They are the sole provider of blood to Southwest Arkansas area hospitals, and they make sure that all donations go to help people in Magnolia and surrounding areas. This has been a Southern Arkansas University News Brief. I'm Angie Loomis. And I'm Brian Barr. With an SAU profile, I'm Casey Boddy. And I'm Kathleen Langston. Dr. Greg Huberger, Director of Technology Services, passed away on Tuesday. He was hired in April 2000 during Dr. Stephen Gamble's administration. While employed at SAU, Huberger added a gas-powered generator, a fail-over firewall, 13 state-of-the-art servers, cache engine, and better distance learning to maintain and enhance the technology of the university. Dr. Huberger was a member of the Arkansas Distance Learning Association and the Association of Users in Technology Information Services. His support and dedication to technology services will be remembered. A memorial was held on Friday at First Baptist Church in Magnolia. In lieu of flowers, donations may be made to a scholarship fund set up in Huberger's name. With an SAU profile, I'm Casey Body, And I'm Kathleen Langston. SAU Sports, I'm Brandi Beerbaum. And I'm Brian Jones. In basketball, the Lady Mule Riders defeat the University of Arkansas Monticello 74-72. The Lady Riders improved to 16-9 for the season and 7-7 in Gulf South Conference West Division play. The game was tied all the way with 10 lead changes and 10 ties. Freshman guard Stephanie White hit a jump shot with 6 tenths of a second remaining to pull off the win. SAU will play their final home game of the season on Thursday against Central Arkansas. In men's basketball, Delta State outplayed the Mule Riders on Monday, taking a 77-56 win. 
Delta State is 9-3 in the Gulf South Conference, and SAU is 2-11. Ronnie Smith led the Riders, scoring 14 points. Brandon White scored 9 points with 10 rebounds. In upcoming games, the Mule Riders play the University of Central Arkansas on Thursday and Christian Brothers on Sunday. In softball, SAU splits with Emporia State University. Emporia won the first game 3-1, but the Lady Riders came back to win the second game 2-1. SAU is 3-4 this season. The Lady Riders are scheduled to play Friday against Cameron University of Oklahoma and Missouri Southern in the University of Central Arkansas Spring Classic. The Lady Riders are coached by Jennifer Pagani, entering her second season at the helm. Season tickets for Mule Rider Baseball are now on sale. Season reserve tickets are $75 and individual reserve tickets are $7. Season general admission seats are $60 and individual general admission seats are $4. Tickets for senior citizens and children are just $2. SAU students and faculty are admitted free with ID cards. The first game of the season will be against Missouri Valley College starting at noon on Saturday. SAU Sports, I'm Brian Jones. And I'm Brandy Beerbaum. With commentary, I'm Todd Flanagan. And I'm Kareen Mundley. Have you ever lived somewhere and couldn't stand it? Have you ever shared a room with someone you despise? Have you used a bathroom so filthy it made your skin crawl? If not, try living in the resident halls. The administration insists that students under 21 cannot live off campus unless they have completed 60 hours. Yet many times when students have problems with their resident assistants or wish to live on a certain floor, their voices are ignored. We do not expect to live in luxury. After all, it is a residence hall. We need to know that when we go to the bathroom, it is relatively clean. Custodians who are hired to clean are not getting paid to watch TV instead of doing their job. Let's be reasonable here. We leave home to live in Magnolia. The administration must provide us with clean facilities. With commentary, I'm Todd Flanagan. And I'm Karine monthly. With an SAU police log, I'm Petronia Dixon. On January 23rd, arrest on warrant. A female student was arrested for a warrant issued by the Columbia County Sheriff's Office. The student was booked and released. On January 26, motor vehicle accident. An accident occurred in the Brinson Fine Arts building parking lot between a student and a faculty member. The faculty backed into the student's vehicle, which was illegally parked at the time in the fire lane. The student was found at fault. There were no injuries. Arrest on warrant. A Magnolia resident was arrested for warrant after being stopped for speeding on North Washington Street. I'm Tamara Clark. On January 28th, motor vehicle accident. An accident with injuries occurred at the intersection of East Line and East University. A vehicle attempting to turn left onto East Line pulled into the path of an oncoming vehicle traveling westbound on East University. The injured were transported to the Magnolia Emergency Room by ambulance. On January 29th, criminal mischief. A student reported that someone either knocked or pulled off his driver's side mirror. There are no suspects at this time. The case is under investigation. All traffic regulations enforced in the city of Magnolia and the state of Arkansas are enforced on campus. Any person who receives a parking citation is required to contact the SAU business office. All parking citations may be appealed to the appropriate committee within five working days from the date the citation was issued. To report campus crime or if suspicious activities appear to be taking place, Contact the University Police Department at 235-4100. That's 235-4100. With an SAU police log, for Petronia Dixon, I'm Tamara Clark. College Newswire, I'm Kareem Marashi. Henderson State University hosts a lecture by poet Maya Angelou. It will take place on March 3rd. The event is already sold out. Angelou has authored a number of best-selling books. They include Even the Stars Look Lonesome and I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings. Angelou is a professor of American Studies at Wake Forest University. She presented an original work at the 1993 inauguration of President Bill Clinton and received a Grammy Award for Best Spoken Word Recording. I'm Josie Lindgren. Hendricks College implements a community bicycle program. Ten orange bicycles are available for anyone on campus. More than $1,000 in donations is funding the program. Organizers will purchase one gear, cruiser bikes with signs and contact numbers. 
organizers are promoting a greener and community-oriented campus. They would also like to see more bike lanes on Conway streets. If successful, more bikes may be purchased this summer. College Newswire, for Kareem Marashi, I'm Josie Lindgren. With this week's entertainment news, I'm Marquita Newton. And I'm Charles Davis. The SAU Performing Arts Series is presenting a concert on Monday. It features mezzo-soprano Ann Kiesling and pianist Ann Rye. The concert takes place at First Methodist Church at 7.30 p.m. Kiesling has appeared in many productions of the Metropolitan Opera. She is currently a guest instructor at Henderson State University. Rye has been a faculty member at Henderson State for more than 30 years. The concert is free and open to the public. The art department is sponsoring an acrylic paint demonstration. The public is invited to this free event. It will be held on Thursday at 1 p.m. in room 222 of the Brinson Art Building. A number of acrylic paint topics will be addressed. They include preparing canvases, painting techniques, additives and gels, and color mixing. More information is available from art professor Scott Stout. A local artist has works on display in McGill Library. A reception for Lori Hicks, an art teacher at Magnolia High School, was held on Thursday. The Rosemary Ray Regional Arts and Education Center and Gallery will host the display. Paintings and sculptures by Hicks and her students can be seen until March 16th. The student's collection is titled Palette of Parodies. The Rosemary Ray Gallery is open seven days a week. Sigma Tau Delta is collecting books. Its annual book sale will be held next month. Members of the organization will pick up books either at home or on campus. Audio books, cookbooks, paperbacks, storybooks, and related items are welcome. Books can also be dropped off in the English department located in room 326 of Wilson Hall. And that's this week's entertainment news. The SAU Broadcast Journalism degree program features a wide variety of professional experiences. Students are responsible for producing and marketing radio and television programs each semester. SAU Magazine, a radio news program, is available to stations in Arkansas and bordering states. The SAU Report, a television interview program, is available to cable systems in southwest Arkansas and northeast Texas. More than a dozen courses are offered in the SAU Broadcast Journalism degree program. Writing, reporting, and hands-on experience are stressed in these courses. In addition, graduating students are more perceptive analysts of mass communication and broadcast journalism. They are very competitive in the job field and for opportunities as graduate students. Information about the Broadcast Journalism Degree Program can be found on the internet at saumag.edu. That's saumag.edu for an excellent educational opportunity. With this week's SAU Calendar, I'm Jennifer Stacy, And I'm Calvin McGee. Resident Assistant applications are available on Monday, February 21st. SGA Traffic Appeals Court will meet at 4 p.m. Wednesday is the last day for 20% tuition refunds. There will be a Student Government Association meeting at 6.30. On Thursday, the Lady Riders play the University of Central Arkansas at 6, followed by the Riders Contest at 8 p.m. February room and board payments are due on Friday the 25th, and History Day activities will be held from 9 to 2. La Tartulia featuring Spanish conversation will be performed at 2 o'clock. The Riders and Lady Riders will be on the road Saturday at Christian Brothers. The softball team participates in a tournament at Henderson State from Thursday through Saturday. Three weeks of classes remain until spring break. And that's this week's SAU Calendar. SAU Magazine is a production of broadcast journalism students in the Department of Theater and Mass Communication at Southern Arkansas University in Magnolia.